Hello and welcome to an English tutorial on how to install, configure, and use Resource Pack Downloader. The current version is 6.0 as of uh, late January 2017, but I'm sure there will be more versions to come. Resource Pack Downloader is a plugin for spigot, paper spigot, or other bucket forks, including probably K Cauldron, but not Sponge, for how to apply a server-sided resource pack only for your server to the Minecraft client. Basically, if you want a resource pack that you want the players on your server to use while on their server, but not on any other server, this is the plugin for you. Server-sided resource packs are often for having, if you have a lot of gear or specialty items for your server that aren't found on survival or most other servers, then you'd want one of these. This includes like guns, custom weapons, or other kind of gear that wouldn't be found in vanilla Minecraft, and there are no vanilla Minecraft items that look too similar. A lot of these are for like uh, equipment, weapons, bows and arrows that are of different varieties, different types of swords, firearms, or the like. To install this, first you, you, may you must make sure you have a server, first of all. You can do this with an offline server if you're just self-hosting, or you can do this if you have a rented server like through Shockbyte or through Hosthorde. It's most easiest with a multi-craft console and some sort of FTP file transfer service. What you want to do is you want to hit download. I already have it downloaded onto my desktop. What you do is you got to log in with, I use FileZilly. There are many other alternatives. Otherwise, multi-craft also has one built in. It isn't very good. What you want to do is you want to take this, just drag it in, easy peasy, like you would with any other plugin. If you use Plugman or Autosave World, you can start this up manually, or you can just hit restart. It's the safest way to do. I wouldn't recommend using slash reload, and make sure that no players are on and currently doing stuff while you're loading up this plugin, because restarting will kick them. They'll be upset. While we wait for this to reload, I'm going to go up, find resource pack downloader once it shows up. The file, the folder here will generate as soon as the plugin starts loading. Now we see that is fully done. We can go into settings. Get rid of that. This is the settings folder. It's basically the pl the config.yaml of any other plugin. He just hasn't named settings. Global resource pack. This is for if you want to change the different worlds. If you have one world with one pack and you have one world with another pack, this is where you'd make sure that you have it set to false. If you want one resource pack for all of your worlds and your entire server, keep this true. Resource pack command. This is the slash whatever you want. So slash download pack slash give me the resource pack, please. Whatever you want. I usually have it as slash RP because that's the default one, and a lot of people are used to that if they use this plugin or similar plugins. Command case sensitive, false. So if you want to have RP not count, and you want slash lowercase RP to count, then that's what you'd want. I keep that false, dude. Join bypass permission. This is basically if you want staff or anyone who's debugging and don't need the pack, or if they're finding similarities between packs, or if they're fixing anything and they don't want the pack, then you have that set to true. There's a permission that you can give to your staff members to bypass that, but I have it on false because it's very much required from my own personal server. Send a resource pack on join. You most definitely want to have this on true, unless you have... So, unless your hub or wherever you are doesn't require it, and then once you get into the game, does require it. Sending resource pack on join tells the server to sell, to tell the client to start downloading the pack from the URL up here. You can have this, if you have this set to false, then they can just get the pack using this command here. I usually have it set on true. It's easiest that way. If you're looking for the URL, make sure you have it uploaded to Dropbox. This is the best place to do it, not Mediafire, because Mediafire doesn't always give you a direct link. It'll give you a link to the download. With this, you can just find this page. Once you have it here, just hit share. Wait for it to load. Hmm. 
or wherever it goes. Once you got the pack, once you got the URL, change that zero to a one. The zero will bring you to this page. But the one will download it. Keep that on one. Whenever you update your pack, you're going to make sure you want to update this URL. You can use Plugman to re soft reload the, con the plugin. This will just reload the configuration and not the entire plugin. You, so you don't have to restart the server every time. Enable accept message, true. Enable decline message, true. Successfully downloaded, true. Failed, true. These are the messages that you find in messages.yaml. You can configure these to whatever you want. It's pretty self-explanatory. These are command messages. You can, if you they accept it, then it'll run a command. If it's false, they can run a command. Then what you can do is, if they haven't accepted the pack, you can run a command to teleport them into a small box, telling them how to install it, or if they can't, how to do it manually. This is just for in case your server really depends on the pack, such as a Wincraft, uh, the Mining Dead, or my own server, the Crucible MC. You can do all these, whatever you want. UUID, player, these are placeholders, so you can use these to teleport the player, so it has tell player, it'll run the command tell to that player, UUID is UUID. You can use that for slash warp player to have an accepted the pack jail place. If they have, if they've declined it, if they've accepted it, you can give them a reward, whatever you feel like doing for your server. I'm gonna hit Control S, save that. And it'll upload to the server. The GUI here is how you adjust the GUI that shows up in the server when you use slash RPD space GUI. This lets you, this is just a simple soft way to change what resource pack you have if you don't have them automatically apply per world. So let's say you have Build World, Creative World, and you have Skyblock World, and you have Zombie Apocalypse World, and they all have different resource packs. If you don't have them automatically apply, you can select these manually, or you can see what it would look like in Creative World with the Zombie Apocalypse World, or you can play the Survival World with the Creative World texture pack. You can do whatever you want. I usually just have them on normal. If it, an option is not available, such as if you have select world, it's stained clay. As it stands, current world, stained clay, it's 13. That's light green. It'll just do the one that you have because it's all of them. Stained clay 14, that's red, which means because we don't have that applied right now. You can change that to whatever you want. It does not update automatically if it's not working. So if you have it set to 13, which is green, and it's not working, it won't change to red by itself. You can do whatever you want. Change whatever materials you want. What we're going to do is, now that it's restarted, we're going to go into the server. It's just my test server. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of garbage stuff. I mean, I use Plugman. Reload resource pack. going to do is going to soft refresh that. It's okay if you can do this. This is, this is just a really stable plugin, so you can enable or disable this on a whim. A full restart will do the exact same thing. Using reload is not recommended, people. So what we do is we use slash RP. Because I have mine set to enabled in the multiplayer configuration, my server links on my Minecraft client, I have that set to enabled. Just going to download the pack. It's going to change the GUI, it's going to change the leaves, a whole bunch of stuff that I have changed. See, instead of a diamond hoe, it's now a gun. But you can see that it is still a diamond hoe here at the bottom. Santa hat. This is flint, special ammo, this is lime dye, but it's an ammunition. So you can do whatever you need to do with that. RPD, GUI. As of now, I do not have separate worlds here for that. I do not have per world resource packs enabled because I don't need it. But this is the current world. Because they're global, no matter what world you're on, 
it's going to download that. It's just going to download the first one you have. It takes forever to download because slow computers. You have successfully downloaded the resource pack. You have accepted the pack request. These are all the messages that you can configure in messages.yaml over here. You can also use RPD Reload instead of Plugman. Sometimes you get an error. That's why I prefer Plugman because it's very solid and very stable. Hopefully he'll update this in the future. It could just be my configuration. You never know. I'm running Spigot 1.8.8 as of now. If we can check the console, we can see what's going on. Null. That's my error. It has nothing to do with the plugin. Hopefully this helped to figure out how to play this game, how to configure this plugin, and how to use this to your server. If I've missed anything, or if there's something I could have gone over better, please let me know in the comments.